it's Charlotte and now we're back with the part you've been waiting for the actual things you can get now everything that I'm gonna show you today I got on either Etsy or Amazon and we're not here trying to sell you any sort of product so don't think that that's what our motivation is our motivation today my motivation is education I would rather teach you to fish than become a fish dealer and really the education is my passion and if you get this information and then you come up with something better or you find a product that works even better please contact me because we want to help people we want to find the most affordable least expensive way to get people and their horses healthy and going so let's get started so in your grounding journey, I talked about copper and we use lots and lots of copper products and I'm gonna show those to you next. But first, I wanna show you the piece that is probably the most important for you to get and it's the piece most people don't think about getting. And it is going to be your grounding plug. This right here is what is called a grounding plug. Grounding plugs, come in all different sort of colors and whatnot. I got this on Etsy. This is a grounding plug and it looks like a normal plug to the naked eye. But the thing that's different about this is these top two pieces are actually dummies. They just help hold the plug in the socket. These go into this plastic and that's where they end. So these are not live. The only thing in here that's live is this third one. And this third hole, the third plug, the third hole in your outlet is actually called the ground. And the reason it's called the ground is that hole in your socket is wired and hooked to the grounding rod for your house or your barn or your building or whatever. You have got access to the free electrons in the earth wherever that grounding rod is going and that is probably grounding rods are one of the best ways to get your maximum electron potential so using a grounding plug that sticks into this third hole in your plug is key to really getting you grounded now on the other end of this plug is a little alligator clip do, 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 do. And wherever I stick this alligator clip, that is gonna give you access to the free electrons. So if I stick this on copper foil tape, they will get flooded with free electrons. If I stick this on copper metal, flooded with free electrons. If I stick this on copper fabric, flooded with free electrons. So plugging this into the wall and clipping this onto whatever you want to flood with electrons is the way you're going to get the maximum benefit. Now, everybody's always, and I was too, ah, what if I shock myself? How do I know that my plug is good? And they make these little inexpensive things right here. This is called a plug tester. And what this does is you just stick it in the hole, you know, in your, into your plug, and these two little lights right here will light up and they'll tell you that your plug is good. I will tell you so far, I have not found a plug that wasn't properly grounded, but that doesn't mean that every plug is properly grounded. So if you have an older house or an older barn and you are worried that your plugs are not pro properly grounded, then Getting a little outlet tester, smart move to keep you from getting shocked. Now, the piece I forgot to tell you about this grounding plug, you need a grounding plug that doesn't have an insulator. Obviously, somebody on Amazon figured out that people were buying grounding plugs. And so they put these little ohm insulators in the middle and they promote it as being super safe, that none of the dirty electricity can come back up through the, through the wire and shock you. Well, really, if your plug is grounded like it's supposed to be, that's not gonna happen anyway. But the bad thing about the insulated wires is yes, they insulate stuff from coming back up through them, but they also insulate the electrons from coming back up through them. So if you buy an insulated or a grounding plug with an insulator, it's not gonna give you electrons. So I found these on Etsy, I'm happy to share the link, but 
look for a grounding plug without an insulator. If you are worried that lightning may come back up this plug and zap you on your copper sheet or something, don't sit on it while there's a lightning storm. Really, the grounding rod should solve that, but if you have any worries at all, unplug it from a lightning when you're having a lightning storm and that should solve it. So now on to the other products we've got. The next product that we're gonna talk about, and I guess I didn't say, I think these are $23 on Etsy, so it's very inexpensive. Next product we're gonna talk about is copper foil tape. Woo! This is copper foil tape. I got it on Amazon. This was $10. This is two inches by 33 feet. This is a lot of potential grounding for you. And this is a piece of uh, copper tape that's open. And what it is, is it's like thin foil, sort of like aluminum foil. And this foil you can use to put on anything and then hook your grounding plug to it. The biggest place that most people use copper foil tape is on their bed, on their mattress. And we have this on our mattress and I was excited because copper foil tape, I could ground every bed in our house. So when people come to visit with their horses and they spend the night over, they are spending the night and sleeping grounded and their sleep is vastly improved and their learning is improved. But this copper foil tape is a great option for putting on mattresses or putting on your couch or all these things. It is thin, you wouldn't want to use it on some place you're gonna walk, but you could absolutely put it on the mattress and it won't come off. The way that we do it on the mattress is I did three or four vertical strips and then three or four horizontal strips. And I hooked my grounding plug to the side onto one of the strips. And that way, all of those strips are getting flooded with electrons. We put our little sheet over top of it so you can't even see the copper stuff. And you will be absorbing that those electrons through the sheet, through the copper tape. Works better if you have on thinner clothes or bare skin, but you're gonna get something if you sleep with this copper tape. The next thing I wanna show you is copper metal. Now, you can get copper metal like this. This is a metal sheet. This was from Hobby Lobby. I think this was either $11 or $15. And any craft store is gonna have some copper metal like this. This is a perfect piece of copper metal to use either to sit on while you're working or in your bathroom. One of the places that I think is probably your most effective place to do your grounding if you're sort of skeptical and you don't want a bunch of copper all over your house, put that piece of copper metal on the floor in your bathroom, hook your grounding plug to it, and while you're brushing your teeth or brushing your hair or doing your makeup, you will be grounding just like you were standing outside on the wet grass. So pieces of copper metal are a great option. This is even thinner copper metal that comes in a little roll. I think it is $11 at Hobby Lobby. And I actually crushed up some um, crystals that, had, that were piezoelectric and had different really good frequencies. I crushed them into dust, I put them in here, and I used JB Weld or any kind of conductive adhesive and created myself a little double duty piece of Copper to sit on, to watch TV, to do my computer. You don't have to do all of this, but this is another option. You could get this thin copper metal and cut it into little pieces. It is really thin when it's just one piece. So I would say use a thicker one if you're just gonna use one piece of metal, but this copper is a great option if you're gonna put some crystals in it for the piezoelectric or your healing crystals. The last thing I wanted to show you is this copper fabric. 
This is Copper Faraday fabric. I got it off Amazon. You just look up Copper Faraday fabric, grounding fabric. And this comes in a pretty big sheet. I'm not gonna open the whole thing because you won't see it anyway. But it is about half of a horse cooler. And we have a video on here where we put the horse cooler on my husband's horse, his dressage horse, and we did a little voltage test with the cooler grounding and not. And that cooler is made of two of these pieces of copper fabric. I wanna say this copper fabric was maybe $15, but copper Faraday fabric is made to block EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies. So all the crap that's coming in, all these positive chaotic frequencies, this stuff blocks it. It's also made to line purses or bags so that sneaky people can't walk by you and grab your credit card number as they, with a little reader as they walk by you. These, this fabric is also made for people to like staple up in a room so you have a room that is blocked from electromagnetic frequencies. I have not, we have not gone nearly so far as to make a whole room with copper fabric. We have just used this in our house, on the floor for the dogs. My next thing is I would love to make some pillows out of this fabric for us to toss around the floor so the dogs could lay on them. I also think that if we had pillows at the horse show that were connected to a grounding plug before everybody rides, before everybody shows, they could sit on their copper pillow and get themselves grounded so they offer their horse something really good to mirror. This fabric we could also make into saddle pads or line your halters or do all sorts of things. And I'm doing some experiments right now that we're not gonna share in this because it would be too long and complicated, but this copper fabric is really flexible and really, you could use it for a ton of uses. Now, of these three main types of grounding stuff, our metal, our tape, and our copper fabric, when you start doing your grounding, you likely have some chaotic charge in you because you probably wear rubber soled shoes. You probably have some spots in you that have gotten a little blocked and have gotten a little acidic. When you sit on the copper metal tape or fabric, you're going to be flooded with these electrons. If you have a really stuck spot in you, you will likely feel a sensation in your body in that spot. When I started doing this grounding, I felt a funny sensation in my chest here and in my forehead. I'd been having a lot of headaches at night. These huge headaches would come on and I noticed, whoa, when I grounded, I felt a little sensation in my head and I was like, ooh, that's weird. If you feel yucky, get off of the copper, go move around flush that out. What happens when you feel yucky? You are detoxing. That's a detox. And if you force yourself to stay on there while you feel yucky, you could detox too fast. You could feel nauseous. You could get a headache. You could feel a little weak. You don't want to cause yourself to get sick. So I would recommend starting with either the tape or the metal. Sit on it for a, you know, I don't know, 15 minutes. See if you feel anything. Even if you don't feel anything, I would go do something because sometimes we're just not aware of even what we feel. And that one of my family members sat on her copper sheet, on this copper metal for, I don't know, an hour or so. And she said, I feel nothing. This feels nothing. Well, then she went to take a shower and she got a horrific headache, horrific headache. But it was right where she had hit her head in this accident and whoa it was like it was detoxing so even if you don't feel it you may want to get up i also want to bring up this fabric i had been sitting on the copper metal 
I guess it took me three or four days to be out sit on it for short periods till maybe the fourth or the fifth day I sat on the copper for eight hours straight and I felt amazing like I, I just felt energized and relaxed and ready to do something after doing my emails which normally I feel very grumpy and don't want to do nothing but drink wine and eat after I do emails so the copper really made a huge difference well, I'd been doing that, I don't know, a couple weeks and was getting along great and I was sleeping on copper metal and then my fabric came and I was so excited. And I guess the fabric was folded up kind of like this and I hooked it to the grounding plug and I sat on it and I think within 10 minutes, I was feeling really yucky. And I was like, holy cow, what has happened? And I looked it up and I found out about the copper toxicity. But in talking to other people, one, I had it all folded up so you could see how many layers I had. But they also talked about since this is woven, there's a lot larger surface area on this fabric than there is on this tape or on this metal. So if you use copper fabric, you're going to get a lot faster flood of electrons than you will with the tape or the metal. I would say the tape is probably the slowest, the metal would be next, then the fabric. So if you're starting your detox from chaos, start out with short pieces of time. I would probably start out with metal or tape versus the fabric. And as you get going, then you could work up to the fabric if you wanted to. I'm, I use the fabric on the horses so that we get a, a fast, a rapid flood of electrons to bring their charge down. I'm gonna use fabric on the pillows. So at the horse show, somebody could sit on the pillow for five minutes and get totally like, ooh, zen. We're gonna get, we, we do throw this copper fabric on the floor, plugged in, and the dogs have a choice to lie on it or not. We've seen a huge change in our older dogs after they've been lying on this copper fabric. They're just perkier, they move better. They're just overall feeling a ton better. So that is your primer on these copper products. And I hope that you will look out and get some. Um, craft stores usually have the metal. I couldn't find the tape at the craft store, so I had to order it off of Amazon. I got the fabric on Amazon, it's Faraday fabric. I got the grounding plug on Etsy because that's the only place I could find them without the insulator. So, happy grounding.